like this, guys. It's very casual. I need participation in order to make this work. So this is probably going to be one of the only presentations they're going to say, if you got your cell phone and you want to participate, please get it out. Okay? And in order to make it work well, since everybody's in a little area, a little bit about us. My partner and I, Carissa, have started this business. We've worked together for about 20 years, long enough that she framed me for a bad photo uh, on here. So uh, she, she wasn't able to be here today, but we'll, talk, we'll hear from her in just a little bit. But I am a technologist, so I've been in technology for the last 25 years. Chris has been in print and packaging um, for most, most of that time. And uh, so we, the, kind of the uh, two skill sets kind of collided for this project. So go ahead. So what we did is we set out to make a company where we could make an impact and increase personalization. And we have been talking about this for a long time. And then when COVID happened, things exacerbated, right? Nobody went anywhere, people didn't see each other. And the whole interaction of people kind of just went away. And we got a phone call, you got a text, you got something like that. But things that were on the fringes of not being personalized, became even more not personalized. Everything was being sent through the mail and those sort of things. So we set out to say, how can we make a platform that would help that happen? And most importantly, we wanted to make people smile. When people see each other's faces, they smile. So what we did, so what we did is we looked at the data and we said, how do people communicate and how do they really see things? And we found some really interesting data. We found that when people talk, about 10% of what's heard is recognized or remembered. When people read, that number is about 20% of what they read, they comprehend, they remember. But when they see and hear things, and they can see mannerisms, they can see presentations, they see these things, they remember up to 80%. So this is why, a lot of the reason why, my kids love TikTok and Instagram. Because what they see is, they see people and hear people in real life situation that's not formalized, that's casual presentation, and they can see and hear that emotion on people's faces, in their body language, rather than just getting a text. I'm sure we've all got a text from somebody and said, what the heck do they mean by that? based upon the mood that you're in that day. Because you can take any text and you can read it with whatever emphasis you want. And my daughter-in-law, when I send her a text with a period in it, forget about it. <laughs> she calls me and says, why are you mad at me? <laughs> I, I don't know, I went to grammar school, forgive me. But um, you know, this is a little bit of why we started to do this. So we'll show you two of the project products that we created. So we came up with these two things here. Cami tags, which I have samples for everybody who wants some up here. And these are basically little hang tags, whether they're paper or plastic rubber necks that you can put on a bottle of wine. So what we came up with is we came up with this product here first. So these are little hang tags or paper tags and we developed them for the gifting industry. So when you go buy a bottle of wine, or you buy something, you can hang one of these tags on it and you can send a little video message with it. Happy anniversary, congratulations, can't wait to see you, can't wait for girls night out. Whatever the occasion might be, you can send something and personalize it and the reaction that you get is a lot different than just gifting somebody. So we have it in hang tag or in paper form. Then we came up with these Cami codes. In Cami codes, we have them in a dot form, which is like a sticker, or a code that you can print on anything you want to print on. If it's printable, I'm sure Larry will figure out a way to get it printed for you. So we put them on cups, we put them on mouse pads, we put them on uh, t-shirts, we put them on any number of things, and I'll show you what, what this can do. And this is where the real magic is, because these codes are multiple use. So what that means is you can print something of higher quality and then you can go back and you can edit out that message, change the message so your content stays relative 
with your fixed print. Okay, so uh, you can scan this or for the sake of everybody playing this, uh, we can play a hyperlink. So this is my partner, Carissa. So if you wanna play that, she has a message for you guys. Hi, it's Carissa Smith, co-founder of Cami. I just wanted to thank you all for coming to the Lunch and Learn today. I hate to be missing it, but I had to put family first. I also wanted to thank Graphic Village for inviting you all in and supplying the lunch for today. I know Randy just shared with you a little bit about how the technology works, so I want to see if you can try it for yourself. So go ahead and take out your phones and scan the candy code on the water bottle in front of you. That will take you out to the recording page. Go ahead and record your video, make it live, and create an account. You'll see just how easy it is firsthand. Thanks so much, and I hope to meet and see all of you soon. But these videos you can make on there, you can send them person to person, super simple. And we can use these all over the place. So we're working with a local college who's putting these on their water bottles for promotions, all those sort of things. Where you can keep current game day information on there with a static print. So I'm gonna show you a couple examples of how some people are using it. This is the local real estate agent that's using this. Hi, I'm Sarah Lee with Lee Realty. We have a brand new community coming for sale starting at $450,000. Please come check us out at LeeRealty.com. So just a little bit of promotion that she can do where she can promote herself, show a little bit of human interaction, and then what she'll do is, as that development happens and progresses, she'll update the number of homes available, or price specials, or these different things that she can have in front of her customers. So, really simple stuff. Go ahead. This is engagement. So, we have a local university. They put one, put one of these dots on every thank you letter that they send out. So when they get donors or donations over a certain dollar amount, the um, AD will send out a personalized message for directly from him to the donor thanking them for their donation. And it just changes the whole dynamic rather than getting a form letter or a letter with a signature, he can actually just engage with that root very quickly and very easily so that he can show exactly what's happening. Other people, in this case, they're using it for quality control. So if you're shipping out a package and you can put on there, hey, I'm shipper number 17. I wanted to thank you for your order. I really appreciate it. I hope everything works out for you. And if you like it, I can, you can click on the link. We'll show you a little bit more about that in a minute. This is uh, actually my son. You'll probably see the resemblance. Pretending like he's a lawn care guy. <laughs> hey, this is Jeff from Jim's Lawn Care. It's a good thing to pass. We talked about the grass is starting to come up very nice. We've also treated the home lawn for dandelions. Uh, we'll be back for another month or so. So if you need me, contact me through the link. It's a link down below. So it's just a way for services who don't really have a whole lot of interaction, bug guys that come to your house and spray when you're not there, lawn guys that come to your house, they want to get you a message, they can do that and they can do it in a way that makes it presentable in a way that connects with people. And we'll should talk about that link here in a second. Randall, can those videos be in iframe? Can they be what? iframe? Yep. Absolutely. And we'll, that's a great point. Thank you. So all those that you see where it says Cami right now, we can customize all that. We can white label all that so we can put your brand there. We can do all those sort of things. So it looks like that message is right from you. So this is a feature that we have. This is this clickable link here. And we have this on the videos. And they pop up after three seconds of the video playing. You can click on this by clicking your call to action when you set the video up. You can put in the hyperlink that you want it to go to, whether it's a phone number, whether it's a website, whether it's a way to contact. So you have it right there in your video. And then you can name it whatever you want to name it. I think you have up to 50 characters that you can fit in that little box. So we name this one Connect. 
and that's what shows up there. So not only can you now create a personalized video, you can put a call to action if you want something to happen. You want them to call you, you want to talk, take them to a special where they have, where you have uh, sale prices or promotions or those sort of things. You can do that right on the video. In the back end, what you see is this kind of a thing. So we'll tell you your tag number, you can see your customer, what your tag is called, or what your promotion is called, how long the video is, when you published it, how many people have viewed it. Um, behind the scenes, we can tell you when they viewed it, where they viewed it, those sort of things. We cannot tell you who viewed it, but we can tell you where it happened and when it happened. So there's privacy laws that prevent that from happening. So this particular teacher here, you can scan this if you want, but she has a magnet that she sends out um, to all the parents at the beginning of the year. And once a week, she goes around with her students and she takes a video of what they've accomplished that week, what they've done, and it's a great way for the kids to show their parents exactly what they're learning at school. Yes? If you do that where you update your your content, mm -hmm. I mean, you ever get back to the previous content? You can. We'll keep that stored for you, and you can sort, search by date or range and all those sort of things so you can see what happened that week. But the user cannot do that? The user cannot. Okay. The creator can. Thank you. If a user is viewed at once and then there's new content, is there any way for the user to know some way via text that there's new content to watch? You can send them a text, sure. If they, in order to do that, they would have to create an account. And if they did create an account, they would get an email that says, your code's been updated, there's new content on your code. Okay. So yes, there is a way that you can do that. Any other questions? The content isn't one-to-one, -one. like the mom here, it seemed like he was talking about that person's yard. Yep. That's not, is that the case? You can do that, right? So we can do, we can either go one-to-one, -one, or one to many, or you can do one to many, and that's actually, it might be the next slide, you wanna hit that one? So we can go one code to many people, we can go individual codes to individual people, but we can also group these individual codes so that you can send out a group message to everybody that has an individual code, or if you wanna reach that one person, you can just send them a particular message. Okay, so there's lots of different ways that you can do this. We need to go back a couple slides. Yep. Two slides. We can do that. If you're going to keep these codes active, in other words, let's say we send a postcard mailing to your customers, and we want to let them know that, you know, put it on your refrigerator because we're going to be, you know, weekly changing the message mm -hmm. or monthly changing the message. That's why that says scan here weekly for updates. Right. We would print something like that to inform them, hey, hang on to this because we're going to continue to have updates. Um, not to take printing out of, our, out of it, but if you send a postcard that has activity, you know, weekly based, you can save a little bit on your postage when remailing, remailing, remailing. My favorite use case for, for many reasons, one of which I get a free fishing trip out of it because I traded it, but uh, I go to a fishing lodge and they put a mug, they give everybody a Yeti cup where they have a coat on it and they send a weekly fishing report that you can scan off your off your Yeti cup where you know exactly what's happening at the lodge, whether it's from fishing, product, or, you know, building improvements that they've made, or weather, or whatever's happening at that lodge, I can get an update from them without them having to email me or text me or do any of those sort of things. I can kind of pull it at my own time and they can kind of see on the back end of, well, Randy's in Ohio and this guy in Ohio keeps scanning his, cu scanning his cup, I might want to give him a buzz to see if he's interested in coming back to the lodge anytime soon. So there's a lot of things that you can do there that can create, make this really interactive. Any other questions about this type of stuff? All right. So our technology, one of the things that you've learned is it's simple. It's very, very simple to use. It's secure, we host it on Microsoft Azure. The big thing about this, it's different than 
making a QR code and posting it to YouTube is there's no ads. You don't see any ads. You don't see any what's next. You don't have um, Uncle Levi trying to noodle a catfish pending after the video that you watch like you get on YouTube. You don't have any of those things. It's direct from you to your customer and that's it. And again, to your point, it can be branded exactly how you want it to be branded so that it looks like it's special from you. And we do have a patent on the technology that's um, hopefully being issued next month. So, all right. So I need a brave soul that made a video to come up here and we will show them how they can replace this video. So when you log in, this is kind of what you see. Is this up here? Okay. You see a login, I'm gonna log in here. You get a, re a list of all the reports, the number of tags you have out, and those sort of things. So I'm gonna go here to code management. All right, who's made a video? I need somebody that made a video. I made one. All right. That's okay, can I see your watch? Can you, can you come up? Can you bring your water bottle with you? Let me see. I'm gonna show, you're off the hook. Oh, phew. There you go. Okay. I'll show you what one looks like. I mean, look here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up the video that my son made. And I can clearly already see this is the video that we just had. So if I wanna replace that video, I click here on my upload button. And I can go here, and I'm going to go to my desktop, and I have a sample video that this is what I want to replace it with. So this one you can see here, I have my call to action on and ready, so I can change any of this to move it to where I want. So I want to go back to my website, and I'm going to say yes, and then it will go through, and it will upload, and then that video that we just did will be replaced by this video. So we can go back in the presentation in just a minute and we'll see if that, if that worked right. So it usually takes about 15, 20 seconds to upload the video and we're good to go. So now I can just see, make sure on here that it's done that. And there's my new video. I'm gonna close that. But it's pretty easy to manage those things. So when you sign up, you have your own little account. Only your videos show up there. And you can see all the data behind them as well. So any questions on how that works? Go ahead. Um, is there any integration possibilities with other CRMs like HubSpot? We, can't, we do have a uh, API that we can integrate. We have not integrated with HubSpot yet. Um, but we are working on integrating with some medical systems. So I'm assuming it would be pretty much similar to how we would do that. So we have a couple doctor's offices who are looking to give one of these to their patients as they leave. So they can say, hey, well, if you're anything like my doctor, you say, hey, you need to exercise more, you need to lose weight, <laughs> and you need to manage your high blood pressure, and I'll see you in six months. So, but if you have real, especially if you have um, parents or elderly people who don't always remember what the doctor says, this is a great way for the doctor to tell them, hey, this is what's going on, these are the steps you need to take, those sort of things. All right, so we're at the end. So any other questions you have about how this works or any examples that you'd like to talk about how you could use this technology? Go ahead. We do. We have a lot of people. Trade show promotion is a big one where they put them on items so they can update, come to the trade show, or even individualized ones where they can say, hey Mark, thank you for stopping by to see me. So they recognize the face with the name. They put it on the back of their business cards and away they go. Absolutely. So the one-to-one -one units are just a fixed price and we typically it's very on the print and what it goes on but they're they're not very much they're like a dollar a piece somewhere in that range dollar two dollars i don't want to quote all the pricing out 
and then the replaceable video is a monthly fee. And that fee is based on the number of codes you have and the size of the audience that you have. And for example, I know that I'm going to give an example here. It's if you got one code, it's like, and you're looking at like a thousand people, you're looking at around $15 a month to replace that as much as you want. And Graphicsville has got all the pricing and everything on that. I got hang tags up here for anybody that wants one too. Mother's Day is coming up Sunday. If you want to give your mom something yeah, give them and a leave her Mother's Day message, for leave her a little message. You, you, I will tell you this: you will be surprised at the reaction that you get when your mother watches that video. My mother, first time, I, she cried every time. Now that said, when her grandkids send her one, she watches them over and over. She watched mine one time, but that's a that's a that's a whole different that's a whole different dynamic. But uh, you know, when you get baby updates and those sort of things from the grandkids, it just it's a just completely different feel. And you can see we have, and we can see you know how I track I track my mom on here and how often she watches our kids' videos versus mine, and it makes me feel bad. But it makes her tell me she's an awesome grandmother and mother too. So, any other questions I can answer for you right now? Yes. How far away does the code scan? Is it like so that's up to the size of the code okay. and the camera that you're using. Okay. So they scan just like QR codes do. So it is a QR code based technology, but we altered the, the premise of how we use that. So the other thing is you can make those codes customized, right? You don't have to make them purple. You can make them blue and yellow or green or whatever you want. If you want to put a little logo in the center of them, you can do that just like QR codes. So if you want to make them a different size, shape, you can do that as well. Yes? How are people, um, how is it getting to your is So going to the website or? Correct. It uses a website. So when you hit that, it takes you to a link and each code has a different number and we sync that number with who's using it. So we have some security built into it as well, but it uses all web-based browsers. So there's no software that you need to use it at all. We do have an app available if people want to use an app, but uh, a lot of people are kind of moving away from wanting to have different apps and things on their phone right now. So it's all web-based so that you don't have to do any of that. No cookies, none of those sort of things. Well, before you guys leave, I want to say thank you again for being customers of Graphic Village. We love doing this. This is exciting new technology, whether you're digesting it yet or not. But um, when we are the only printer in town, let's bring it to our customers. So uh, <laughs> hopefully uh, we'll get this opportunity to work on some projects with you guys. Um, because no, we're, we're excited to work with Graphics Village because these guys are some of the best printers around. And uh, we kind of, Chris and I, we've been in the printing world a long time and we didn't know about Graphics Village and we reached out and she said, I found a place called Graphics Village that can print this for us. And I thought, what is this, like a little Kinko's place? And we came down here and I was like, oh my gosh, so my mind is blown. And then we've been working with Larry for what, the last six months maybe? And uh, it's just been, these guys have been absolutely fantastic to work with and help create products and help get these printed up and can't thank them enough and can't thank them for the opportunity to come down and share it with you guys. Thank you. So thank you all for coming. Like a tour, raise your hand and we'll uh, have a salesperson give you a little nickel tour while you're here. If you don't have time, that's fine. We'd love to see you back here and, and uh, get a tour of our facility as well. Oh, thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Okay.